Hey fellas, it's me, ya boy, NoUpload69 here. My past few videos have had 15 different reasons why I stopped uploading regularly. But uh, to keep this short, it's been hot as hell for the past few months and I don't want to record my fan blowing into the microphone. And I've been dealing with the state I live in being mainly on fire. Now that it actually isn't triple digit heat anymore and October is here, I'll try getting back on track. And yes, this creepypasta was written by Call Me Kevin. I already recorded the reading and was writing the script here when he came out about it. It's not the first time I've been blueballed by someone else, it won't stop me now. Now let's just enjoy the story to its fullest potential, shall we? Once in a place far away, a very long time ago, there was an boy named Roger. He was tall, but a bit round. He lived in a big city where unusual things seemed to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway, Roger had lots of enemies in the city. All the people he used to like were now his enemies because he changed. He used to be a really successful banker named Ron, but he decided to go another way, and now he is a hobo named Roger. Because of this, his friends thought they didn't like him anymore, so they said, You're our enemy now. And Roger was like, Oh no, I have no friends, but loads of enemies. Roger lives day to tomorrow by the change he gets off strangers outside McDonald's, but sometimes he... When he gets enough money, he goes to the local shopping center called Teco. He can only buy things when they are on sale, so he only buys things when they are on sale because he doesn't have any much money. Sometimes, he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale, and he goes into KFC and says, Can you cook this for me? And they do it because they are his enemies and spit in the food. Yuck. Today, on the most windy and stormy and rainy and cloudy and sad of days, he decided he needed to eat and went to Teco. When he went inside, there were no baskets, which was weird, Roger thought, that that must be giving him a break today, so he kept going. He saw the bread was on sale, so he was going to buy it, and then an big fat hairy man ran up to him and said, No, that's not for or you, and he took the sale sign away, which made the bread go back up to $100,000. This is all in the future, so that's normal for the future. Roger made a face similar to this. And he said, but if you don't give me that, I will starve. And the fat man laughed, and his fat went bouncy from laughing. Then one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. That's what happens when his enemies die. And he punched the manan so hard that his fat fell off, and the man was so angry that he cried blood. Then the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. A black mist came out of the cereal boxes and the bacon was flying everywhere, pancake mix splashing over the counters, freezers freezing at higher temperature than normal, so that it was freezing the frozen pizzazzes too much. Ron ran away, far away, to that aisle that's always full of people. It has like loads of sweets and crips, yummy. There was like 10, no wait, 15 monsters there, all black with eyes ooging with blood and tears the hat looked like bacon but were actually dead people's skin. He screamed, Fat Man, help! But when the Fat Man came her, he said, You punched my fat, and now you will pay. I am your Enami. And then he ran and went I inside a freezer, but forgot that the freezers froze too hard now, and he died from freeze. Roger ran to an exit, and was almost out when he trippied on something. He looked down and saw his Enami saying, Help me, the pancakes were too string. And then he said, No, I am Roger. You were Ron's friend, not mine, Smelly. And then he said, No, I am Roger. You were Ron's friend, not mine, Smelly. And he ran out the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. He was Roger. Then he went he back in for the bread, but forgot about the monsters. So when he got the bread, the monsters came out between the slices and cried blood from their months, saying, We are your enemies, Ron. He said, How do you know my name? And then they ate him, and he just fell down on the floor, crying from death. His last words were, I am all your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now be a supermarket monster. So when you are in a supermarket, remember that Ron is waiting. 
in the Futere, though, because it's in the future, remember? Thank you for joining me today. Be sure to like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you want to see more of whatever the hell I do. Take it easy, fellas.